Hey, Jenkins. You know who it is, everybody. I am back once again with another hair tutorial. Today, I'm showing you how I style this crochet wig. This is my second crochet wig on my channel, and it's actually from the same brand. This is Zuri's Naturally Star Hair. Um, it is crochet hair, and this is the V8910, which basically just means that it has it's supposed to be V-shaped, and it has eight inches, nine inches, and 10 inches. My first time around, you all may remember, I was not aware of this, despite it being clear as day on the package. So I just kind of did my own thing and freestyled it. This time around, I actually tried to find, this time around, I actually decided to stick to the plan according to the pack, and I actually started with the 10 inches, followed by the nine, then the eight at the top. Now, let's get started. So this is the hair I'm using. I have two packs. One is this 30 color, and the other is a ombre 3033. And this is the wig cap I'll be using. Um, this is the crochet wig cap with combs. So first I'm gonna unpack all of the hair and kind of organize, ooh, organize. Organize it by length. So I have my eight, my nine, and my 10. And now I'm taking the ombre hair and organizing that also to make sure I have the lengths in order. Making sure that the tag of this wig cap is in the back. If you need a wig head, I will leave a link in the description box below for you to purchase one from Amazon like I did with mine. So for the first row, I'm gonna be using the 10 inch, so this is the lighter colored hair. And what I'm trying to do here is just make sure I maintain that ombre look, so I don't want too much of the light hair on top. I do want it to appear to have dark roots on this wig. So I'm gonna kind of um, stagger things, and I'm starting with the light color first. As you can see, I noticed that the hair was a little looser than I thought, so I started pulling out uh, small strands from each side and tying a knot just to make sure that they don't slide out. And as you can see, for the next row, I'm using the darker hair. This is the ombre hair with colors 30 and 33. And I'm just gonna let this run a little longer than I did my last video so you guys can see exactly where I placed each color and length. Okay, so now I'm on my third row and I'm back to the brighter colored hair. And I'm just gonna keep switching back and forth between the two um, until I get to the top, then I'll start doing more of the darker hair. As I said, just to make sure I have that, uh, the look of dark roots. So at this point, I started using the nine inch hair. Notice I haven't put any of the hair at the front. I'm gonna save the shorter length for the bang area. Now that I'm pretty much at the very top, I'm gonna start using the eight, the eight inch strands. And as I said, I'm gonna make sure I use uh, mostly the darker hair once I get really towards the very top. And I'm also gonna make sure that the strands are a little closer together just so you can't see the net or my hair underneath the wig.
Okay, so next day and my wig is all done, at least the crocheting part. And now I'm just gonna cut a bang into this wig. So I'm taking it curl by curl and cutting it. I don't want a blunt cut, so I'm just doing it curl by curl. Some of the curls are kind of thick, so I broke them apart and cut them that way. And here's the finished look. Thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one.